Welcome back, and this is now number five in our module on self-leadership. So far, we've covered four of five components of self-leadership. We've looked at number one, self-awareness, number two, self-discipline, number three, self-control, number four, self-development. Now to the fifth and final one, self-sacrifice. In this session, we're going to explore the cost of self-leadership. There is a price to pay to become a great leader, and it's not an easy road, and there are no shortcuts. To lead ourselves demands a great cost, the cost of paying whatever price is necessary to do what God has called us to do. We each have to make a choice to be a mediocre leader or to be an effective leader. The difference is not just our skills or capacity, but the price we are prepared to pay to be a leader worth following. We're going to examine five actions that, to me, encapsulate what it means to pay the price of being a great leader. Number one, deny ourselves. The best place to start an examination of paying the price is with the words of the greatest leader, Jesus Christ. One of the preeminent places where Jesus outlined the cost of authentic discipleship is in Matthew 16, verses 24 to 28, where Jesus said, among other things, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Jesus' first word to those who would follow him was, if, and if is a power-packed word. It speaks of making a choice and decision. And this is not a light decision, but a whole life decision. Our salvation is free, but discipleship will cost us everything. To be a true disciple, we are called to deny ourselves. To deny oneself is a range of applications. To deliberately and irrevocably decide to renounce one's rights over one's life, to abandon the attitude of self-centeredness, to say no to independence and willfulness, to relinquish our ambitions, aspirations and dreams to the greater call and cause of Christ, to yield our whole self to God's will, to die to self-interest by putting Christ's interests above our own. Now, this is very confronting and stands in complete contrast to the prevailing culture which puts self at the center. Our age is consumed with me, I and my, where people say, I need, I want, or these are my rights. And against the consumerist, self-indulgent society, the life which boldly follows Jesus stands up and stands out by saying, it's not about me. It's about him. Taking up our cross. Taking up our cross refer to the practice of making a condemned prisoner carry the cross beam upon which he was to be tied or nailed at the place of crucifixion. In a strict sense, taking up your cross meant to be prepared to face martyrdom, to be willing to lose our mortal life for the sake or cause of Christ. To us, it is a willingness to lay down our lives and live wholeheartedly for Jesus. Then the Lord said, follow me. An authentic disciple follows Jesus in the sense of using his way of life as the model on which we build our lives. Following him speaks of emulating his example, his words, his approach to life and the way he served the Father. It implies being like him in areas like obedience, servanthood, suffering and humility. Number two, wholehearted surrender to Jesus, his cause and church. Building on the foundation of denying ourselves, a second action in the language of paying the price as a leader is that of wholehearted surrender to Jesus and his purpose for our lives. As we've seen in the anatomy of self-denial, surrender requires us to yield our rights to the will of God. In response to God's grace, we voluntarily submit ourselves to what we know to be His purposes for our lives. The nature of surrender I'm trying to convey is embodied by Jesus in the garden, where Jesus uttered the most eternally heroic words of prayer ever spoken, Yet, not as I will, 
but as you will. This is a point we all must come to to be great leaders, yet not as I will, but as you will. Number three, prepared to make sacrifices. To be an effective and fruitful leader, we must be prepared to deny ourselves, fully surrender ourselves to Jesus, and thirdly, be prepared to make sacrifices for the Lord and His purposes. A scripture that speaks directly about this is Romans 12 verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Offering our bodies as a living sacrifice is another way of saying our whole life. We lay down our life for Jesus and His glory. It is the whole of our life for the rest of our life. From a posture of total surrender, there are a number of sacrifices we may be required to make. Sacrificial time, which is giving time above and beyond the ordinary. Sacrificial prayer and fasting, which is refraining from food for a season of devoted prayer. Sacrificial giving, the giving beyond our comfort level as an act of obedience. The sacrifice of praise and worship, which is offering praise and thanksgiving. Or the sacrifice of martyrdom. The ultimate sacrifice for some leaders may be martyrdom. But we all should be prepared to lay down our lives for Jesus. Number four, endure hardship. So far we've seen that paying the price involves denying ourselves, wholeheartedly surrendering our lives to the Lord, being prepared to make sacrifices. But now we come to a fourth action, which is to endure hardship. This point is taken from 2 Timothy 2, verse number 3, where Paul explicitly encouraged Timothy to endure hardship like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Therefore, a fourth way in which we pay the price of self-leadership is to persevere through the challenges, adversities and trials of leadership. Hardship comes in various dimensions. There is a hardship that comes from being a human, mortal, flesh and blood person. Hardship may come in the form of a sickness, an accident, a relational breakdown, the aging process and inevitably death. Then, then there is B, hardship that comes from being a Christian, which may involve persecution, discrimination, spiritual attack or rejection. But in the context of, of, of this video, there is also C, hardship that comes by virtue of being a Christian leader. The more effective our leadership is, the greater the cost. Leadership consultant and author Sam Chand wrote that leaders grow only to the threshold of your pain and go so far as to assert that if you're not hurting, you're not leading. And with a clever play on words, I heard him redefine leadership as bleedership and say that if you're leading, you're bleeding. Hardship is part of the cost of leadership, but we're told how to respond. Endurance. In scripture, endurance speaks of an inner strength that enables a leader to stay strong in times of persecution and hardship. Endurance is a mindset, an inward disposition and attitude. It is a measure of a leader's character and inner life. A mindset of endurance is one of persevering through adversity, of faithfully serving despite the obstacles, of going the distance, and of never giving up or giving in. Number five, exercise courage. There is a fifth and final element required to pay the price of becoming an extraordinary leader. Courage. Courage sometimes comes at a cost. Courage is indispensable for effective Christian leadership. And there comes a point where every leader needs to boldly step out, step up, speak out and courageously lead no matter what the cost. Courage isn't really authenticated until it's been demonstrated by courageous actions and words. And here is the challenge. If we don't make this choice to pay the price, we have already chosen by default to be a mediocre leader. Let's not settle for mediocrity and be an ordinary leader who only does what's expected or required. Instead, let's rise to the challenge of extraordinary, visionary, courageous and compelling 
leadership. This is a choice, a choice to pay the price to be what God has called us to be. Well, that's it. That's the end of the module on self-leadership. And we note the five components of self-leadership. Number one, self-awareness. Number two, self-discipline. Number three, self-control. Number four, self-development. And number five, self-sacrifice. There are many more modules to come. I look forward to seeing you again. God bless.